Okay, day one of the 21 day eat clean challenge. For my first breakfast, this is what I usually have most ones to be honest. There, uh, just a green vegetable juice um, with fresh juices, green tea, uh, some nuts, and gluten. We've got a very large omelette with vegetables, uh, eight eggs, and goat, a little bit of goat's cheese with kale on the top. Cooking there. Okay, this is going to be a 21 day project for me. Um, considering that I've usually cheated more or less every week for the entirety of my life, um, I sort of I'm very curious to see what it'd be like to be a hundred percent clean. I'm talking no additives, nothing, um, no no chocolates, no coffee, no sugar, um, obviously fruit, yeah, that kind of thing, natural sugars, um, but having a full 21 days, 100% um, clean eating, um, not even any sort of cereal, bread, blah blah blah, anything like that. Uh, and I'm going to document the progress and take a picture on day one um, of me figure, see how that changes as well. Still stick with me, stay, same kind of training, and uh, see how it goes from there. Okay. Okay, this is day two of clean, total clean eating. Uh, this is just after I've been boxing. Um, for about 45 minutes an hour so still looking quite lean but it'll be interesting to see if there's much difference um, after the 21 days but feeling good, got loads of energy, I've been on the go since about 6 o'clock this morning um, it's now 7 o'clock at night and I've still got some work to do till about 10, 11 o'clock but um, feeling pretty good and I'll keep documenting this as we go along this is day three, eat clean, and although this doesn't look like much, it's actually absolutely beautiful. We've got sweet potato and parsnip chips mixed in with uh, vegetable medley, and also we've got a little bit of stir-fried chicken with tomato puree and a couple of spices, and it's gorgeous. Day three, it is five to eight, and for our last tea, we've got a clean bolognese with veg. And some hazelnuts. And I've been on the go since 5 a.m. this morning, doing two boot camps and full time job. Um, fairly tired, but I've still got quite a bit of energy. I've still got quite a bit to do. But I've been on the go since 5 a.m. and I've had like a, a lunch break and a tea break, but that's been about it. It's all go. Um, but clean eating is definitely working. Day four of clean eating. And very, if not non-energy lulls. Um, shit, the, my workouts have been class the past few days. Really, really good. I'm about to have some tuna burgers with sweet potato and some fruit. I've just trained, so I'm going to get my carbs in. But the meals I've been having have been just absolutely superb, to be honest. Um, and the best thing is that I'm starting still at like 5 a.m. and I'm on the go till like 10, 11 at night and even then I'm like I'm not when I'm getting into bed I'm getting to sleep fairly quickly but not like straight away it is taking us a little bit time to shut off because I've got so much energy it's just absolutely unbelievable the amount of energy that I've got right guys we're on day seven of clean eating um, starting to prepare some meals for the week I've got some coconut um, coconut curry chicken with coconut rice in there um, some healthy like bolognese chili con carne with sweet potato and parsnip chips um, and some coconut rice separate and I'll be just sticking some veg in this chili con carne these are all for like taking to work okay so you don't have to worry about going for the convenience option that's the best way to do things is to take them and once they've cooled tomorrow morning, you stick them in the freezer. I'm going to be preparing a little bit more tomorrow. Some more chicken with um, vegetables all the time. Um, I can say that I haven't wanted to cheat once. Like, I know usually it comes to about five, six days eating clean in the past. And I've been like dying for sort of fish and chips or um, some kind of chocolate bar or something like that. Um, and I haven't craved anything literally like my body's just actually craving good food because it tastes that nice 
and me like my energy levels are through the roof. I'm still doing five a.m. starts um, and going through till sort of ten, eleven o'clock at night as well, and having the energy to do the lot. And it's just absolutely phenomenal. Um, I've never felt better, really not. Um, not sleeping as much as what I should. I'm probably getting an hour less, but that's just with the workload I've got on. Um, I am working really long hours at the minute to try to set things up. But I think if I got an extra hour of sleep, it would be absolutely immense. But because I'm not getting the extra hour of sleep, the clean eating is making such a difference. Whereas usually it would come to like sort of four or five o'clock and I'd be starting to have them lulls, them drops. But now it's not and I'm preparing meals. Like tomorrow I've got me healthy bolognese and rice um, with me flask of green tea some seeds and a pineapple and it's just it's not boring in the slightest it really isn't clean eating is not boring I'm not on a diet I'm just literally living a healthy lifestyle of clean eating it's just learning what to put together and how to put it together so once I've done this I'm definitely gonna start um, sticking up some cooking videos for you guys because some of the stuff that I've been learning has been class so well we're on day 11 of clean eating um, Feeling pretty good, but I didn't sleep well at all last night. And I found that since when you don't sleep well, you crave more. Because your hormones kind of go out of balance. Because when you sleep, your hormones reset. Okay, and it actually helps regulate your hunger levels. So the hormones that are responsible for your hunger are not at a, at, at like a good level. If, if your sleep's disrupted, and I, I did wake up quite a few times, had a few nightmares and things, and I didn't get the sort of good 78 hours that you should be getting. Um, so I've came back in, just did a three minute blast day, uh, just to earn some carbs really because I haven't done very much at work today. Um, so after blasting myself I did 53 press ups in a minute, full ones, minute of mountain climbers and a minute of aeroplanes. Literally just three minutes, just off the trot. Um, and I, I was tempted walking up and down the confectionery aisles at Asda. This is the first day that I've actually been tempted to cheat like chocolate wise or, or like bad food just I think it's got a lot to do with the sleep definitely because um, prior to last night I've been sleeping pretty good so it's definitely to, worth noting that sleeping massively is a huge factor in cheating and in your whole overall fat loss okay so don't neglect seven to eight hours okay that's what you should be getting so I did stray away from the confectionery aisle in Asda and decided to make myself some fried fish uh, with some veg and we've got some rice noodles here with a little bit of gluten free soy sauce and I've got some balsamic vinegar over the fish. Uh, I'll finish it off with a couple of bits of fruit at that and I guarantee I'll feel much better after this than what I would do if I'd cheated but I'm very glad that I didn't but I was tempted. <laughs> Day 16 and I bought some of these it was 3 for 99 pence, I haven't had a cream egg in years and I'm not going to have one, I just bought it because this is what I'm going to treat myself with on Saturday when I've completed the whole project so these are going in the fridge and they're staying there ok, we've got a banana omelette with raisins and spinach I'll sprinkle a little bit of flaxseed over the top we're feeling good um, day 16 of clean eating, I haven't had a cheat at all um, I haven't, well, past couple of days I've kind of craved a little bit, but it's more so than just a convenience factor because I know how it would make us feel. I know how it's going to make us feel when I eat that cream egg. Like, I'm, I'm not going to feel terrible, but I'm going to feel like guilty that I've eaten it in a way, which I do all the time. But obviously, yeah, I've, I've got to let go. You've got to treat yourself. I totally believe in that philosophy. But more so, how I'll feel afterwards, I'll feel tired and lethargic and you know me, me body will be going what the hell is this that you're putting into us like what are you why are you giving us this this is not good I can't make use of this the body craves nutrition doesn't crave food so if you're not feeding it with the right things okay good greens and plenty of you know nuts and good fats and fruit and vegetables and fish meat that kind of thing if you're not feeding it with what it needs then it's not going to respond the way it should Okay, hence why people do feel tired and rotten all the time. Because nutrition is nature's medicine. It's simple as. Right guys, up to day 18. I've got uh, red juice, beetroot, courgette, um, 
red pepper and something else in there. I forgot what it was now. Green tea and just got a this healthy porridge on the go, which includes nuts, flax seeds, bananas, raisins, a little bit tiny bit of rice milk, um, and eggs. And it's absolutely beautiful. Um doing pretty well, but I'm sort of craving something now. I think my metabolism is screaming out to be changed. Uh, okay, this is the first time obviously I've been eat, cl eating clean for this length of time. And I think I am ready for a cheat now. But I'm going to wait till Saturday because then that will be the 21 days. I've had Cadbury cream eggs in my fridge now for two days. And I haven't touched them. <laughs> but a little bit of a test set to myself. But uh, I, I'm doing really well. Um, but I'm ready for a cheat now, like. But I know once I've had that one cheat, I'll be straight back on it, straight back on the whole, whole healthy nutrition plan. Just I think I'm I'm craving a nice crappy meal. I think just one and a chocolate bar. I'm, to be honest, I'm probably craving a, like a chocolate bar more, a chocolate bar, and a cup of coffee. Is what's it's not the fact that I need it. I'm just like thinking. I could probably do it with that now. Just the one, just the one. But no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the other 21 days. I feel awesome. I've been still been doing like 15, 16, 17, 18 hour days. Um, getting up at five most mornings, sort of six at the latest, and um, going through all the way to like 10 at night, working, and it has helped massively with my energy levels. Um, I've been getting through it pretty well, which wouldn't have been the case had I been eating stuff like bread, pasta, cereal, that kind of thing. Because uh, my body would have started to shut down after that. Day 18. Just finished. Got an hour of strength and conditioning. Feeling good. Energy levels are tremendous. Could do more, but I'm not going to bother. Because you can't overtrain. You know, you start getting over 50 minutes an hour. Start eating into your muscle tissue. It's not what I want. I'm not in a competitive sport. I'm competing for me. So. I want the best results in the shortest amount of time. But we're doing well, feeling good, plenty of energy, looking trim, abs are coming through. Happy boy! Woo! Final day of eating clean. Breakfast, we've got a full avocado, crushed nuts, um, mixed nuts with raisins, sultanas, and live yogurt and a green tea. Right, we're on our final day. I've just finished my initial assessment for CrossFit. Feeling awesome, as you can tell. The clean eating is definitely working. I've my energy levels are through the roof, like I've said on numerous occasions. Today's cheat day, I started off with a healthy breakfast, which I just didn't feel like cheating at all. I still don't even feel like cheating, but I'm going to as a test to see how how it affects us. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I want yet. A burger, chips, things of mind. I'm craving a little bit of chocolate and a nice cup of coffee, which I think I'll have afterwards. But when you've eaten clean for so long and you know it's the benefits of it, you don't want to go back to eating crap. Simple as that, but um, I'll report back. Cheap meal one, mince and dumplings. Get it. One minute later, and I feel like crap. But it was nice, well, it was alright. Five out of ten, six out of ten. Um, let's see how we feel like. Right, treat two black coffee, cream, and carrot cake. Right, cheat meal two on cheat day. Jimmy's Farm burger with cheese and fried chips. I already feel horrendous after the first one. This is the second one and I'm having sweets later then documenting tomorrow. Right, it's the morning after cheat day and I feel absolutely rotten. Uh, yesterday morning I decided to have a healthy breakfast actually. Didn't feel like cheating. Went training, felt great. Then decided to have mince and dumplings um, with chips which is a meal that a lot of people have quite regularly and after it I felt really bloated um, massively tired lethargic a little bit confused um, couldn't like concentrate properly um, just wanted to go to sleep uh, then I had a couple of cups of coffee and carrot cake which was nice but again after the coffee hit us, I had, a, I had a high, my heart rate started to rise, not like uncontrollably, but I, I could feel it, um, but I, that's why I tend to only have 
and I had black coffee. I only have black coffee occasionally, like sort of maybe every other day I'll have a cup. But I used to be a person who used to drink coffee frequently, all the time. Um, like three, four, five cups a day and I have no problem. But I had two cups yesterday, one after another, and my heart rate rose. So obviously my body's not reacted to it because it hasn't been used to it. So I got a massive kick out of the caffeine. But it couldn't have been too good because of how my body was responding. It was responding as if to say, what have you done to us? Why have you given us this? Um, so I felt horrendous after that. And then I decided to have another cheat meal, which was a, a burger from the Handmade Burger Company and Chips, which was gorgeous, mind. It was really nice. I enjoyed it. And then uh, last night I pigged out on some chocolate after that. But I've woke up this morning. I feel rotten, absolutely rotten. I'm straight back on the healthy diet right now. Um, I've learned not to have a cheat day again. It's going to be just a cheat meal. And the fact is, I didn't particularly want to do it. All I craved really was a little bit of chocolate. I just thought I'd see how it made my... It made me feel after being so clean for 19 days um, and it's made us feel rotten so now it's literally going to be a cheap meal maybe once a week if that and the only reason that I'd be doing that is if I didn't have any clean food ready um, the only reason that I think I'd like to cheat is like if I'm going out for a social occasion or for convenience really that's the only reason because if you put something in front of us now like the handmade burger company meal or one of my meals that I cook, I would choose my meal every time. Because it tastes better and I know that it makes us feel great. So it's been a good little project to do, but now it's made us realise that 90% of my life is going to be clean and 10% naughty. Um, a bit just because of how I feel, um, the, my energy levels have been phenomenal, my mood's been fantastic. I found that when I ate yesterday, my mood went down as well. I was like not as happy as what I was in the morning. This food really does help improve your mood, and it's nature's medicine. Like, since I've been eating clean, I've been eating clean like 80% anyway and 20% bad um, in the past, but I haven't had a cold or a flu in about two years since I've been eating properly clean because my immune system is through the roof. Um, and everyone says, oh, you'll just catch it. Well, no, you won't catch it if you're eating well and you're looking after yourself because your immune system will fight off anything that, that you're there because I've been working on... I'm working around construction site people, you know, they've all had it. And because I'm so clean and healthy, I haven't got it because my immune system's so high. So the best thing you can do is to revert to clean, good food and plenty of water in your lifestyle. And don't go down the route of cheating and thinking it's all right. Because ultimately it'll lead to problems, it really will. And I can't explain how brilliant a clean, healthy lifestyle is in terms of how you feel. Right now I feel rotten because of uh, the couple of meals and the couple of few bits of chocolate that I had last night. Um, and I know a lot of people won't react like this because they're used to it, but when you start to feel as great as what clean eating makes you feel, then you start to realise how little you want all the other stuff. So if there's a message in this, it's to literally give it a go yourself. To try yourself clean eating for a fortnight or so and see how amazing you feel. Because it makes a hell of a difference. And then try and have a bad bad meal and see how much food actually affects you. It's crazy. But anyway, I'll be back with some more projects and tests and stuff and things like that um, later on. Okay, so peace out guys.